in front of you here, you have a Calligraph number 2 and a Remington Standard number 2 typewriter, both from 1887. On the left, on the Remington 2, you have, if you look closely, the standard QWERTY keyboard we use today with our computers, smartphones, and other devices. On the right, on the Calligraph, you have this jumbled mess, which they called a full keyboard. Up until about 1900, there were several different competing designs of keyboards. You had your machines over here with your standard shift key, which as you can see, when you press the shift key, will shift the carriage. Mine's not working too well at the moment, but I'm planning to fix that. And over here, you have this machine, which has separate keys for all the different characters. Now this, these are just two examples. The single shift key, four row QWERTY keyboard. And over here, we have the full keyboard, as Calligraph called it, with a separate key for each character. Now something to note, the Calligraph design is after the Remington 2 came on the market, so it is not due to the fact that shift keys were not invented yet. It is simply due to the fact that the inventor of the Calligraph thought that a shift key was time consuming and wasteful. I'm going to show you now some more machines with unusual keyboard layouts to our modern eyes. And here we have two other machines with different keyboards. On the left is a bar lock. This machine has your typical QWERTY keyboard, but it has two of them. Like the Calligraph, it has a separate key for each character. There is no shift mechanism on this typewriter. Each key is individually mounted to its own type bar with one type slot. Over here on the right, we have an Oliver. This machine only has three rows of keys, though it retains your standard QWERTY layout. If we look, there's a lowercase. Oh no, this is the capitals key. Then this is a figures key. You see it shifts the carriage on this machine, gives the carriage shift machine, then your typical QWERTY layout. These are just some of the keyboards that can be found on typewriters. Uh, Hammonds and some Hammonds in the, the uh, Crandall can have two row keyboards. There are uh, index machines, those are, don't really have a keyboard at all, but these are the main four keyboards that you may find on your typewriter. I hope you find this informative and thank you for watching.